Hey everyone, welcome back to the Dark Souls Remastered Walkthrough and Walkthrough Series. This is episode 35, and we're about to go take on Knight Artorius. Um, I hope this is, uh, basically, we fight Knight Artorius in this episode, hopefully, and, uh, win. Do a couple of other things for the lore significance, um, and, uh, we'll end the episode there. Hopefully a shorter episode today, because... Okay. You guys know that was kind of dark, but that's how it is with the hitboxes. <laughs> All right. I bought one of the dragon rings from, uh, our sorcery grow at Firelink Shrine. I'm trying to advance his last piece of the quest line. Um... So, yeah, and I think I have one more Covenant to max. I'm going to have to go... We haven't been to the Valley of the Drakes yet, technically. So, we've got to go there, and I'll go there, and I'll try to... Uh, I'll get the items that are there. Um, maybe at the end of this episode, and then go farm some Drake skills. I'm going to need to farm 30 to max out the Dragon Covenant. So... Buff up. Awesome cutscene. There he is. The man himself. The knight of the woods. That's on me, guys. That's on me. <laughs> we did two R2s to him with the Gunk of Order as hell. Jeez, you just see how how powerful Crystal Magic Weapon is. I screwed up. I completely forgot his moveset. He's actually really easy to telegraph what he's going to do. The jumping attacks he usually does one or three times um, based on positioning. And, uh... <laughs> Man. I can't believe I died to him. That's okay. That's okay. He's not that hard, man. He's not that hard. And I healed right in front of his face, which was really, really stupid. Really dumb. I let him get in my head. He's actually not a bad boss fight. I, I, I honestly, Sanctuary Guardian. Trying to cut his tail off is harder than uh, Knight Artorius as a boss fight. Especially for that we have a plus 15 Balder Side Sword that does serious damage with, uh... How? How do I miss that? Guys, does everyone know? Is it because... Does anyone know? Is it because of the elevation? It hit him, but not him? It hit the guy behind? That's so dumb. Fix your damn hitboxes! Come on! Please, for Elden Ring, fix the hitboxes. Make it fair! I should have tagged both of them on that. It's dumb! Come on! Fix the hitboxes! You're better than that! One of the best studios out there, FromSoft. Come on! Make incredible games. You know, it's funny, going back, I, I think I'm going to go back to Sekiro, especially with the update in October. That might be, I, I say this is probably the most fair game. Sekiro, for as hard as it is, is probably the most fair game. Honestly, when I start to think about it, I think Sekiro was 
the most, like... I, I think they nailed it with the combat, you know? I think it's completely fair. It's difficult, but it's completely fair. through his bullshit. Like that. How? 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 All right. I take it back. I, I, I never had a problem beating this guy until when I started, hit the friggin' record button, apparently. Shit! Ah! <sighs> God. Trash. You know, I knew this would happen because I had such an awful, awful, awful weekend. I got cheated out of my fantasy football draft. Tried to argue it. And... Just got worse and worse and worse, and I just decided, you know what, man. I mean, this is the last year I'm gonna play in that league. And I think that's really what's gotten me so unfocused and just so... ticked off. Just, 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 it really did ruin my entire weekend, because this league was really awesome. Like, it, 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 commissioners do such a great job making things fair. Technical errors and a whole bunch of BS really screwed up my draft. Tried to argue it. It was, you know, seeing their point, I, I see their point. I understand it. I still feel cheated, and that's why I'm still ticked off about it. And it's really, really, I mean, fantasy sports does that to you when you take it as seriously as I do. And to be honest with you, I'm an idiot that I take it that seriously. I don't think anyone should take it seriously. Um, but I think it's because i am got a screw loose in the head that I take it that serious. And I let it affect me and it gets me really angry when that crap that just happened in that uh, draft... You know, really just screwed me. So.
stopped him from buffing. down get everything you know I'm glad I have this channel to just get stuff off my chest <laughs> you know to get that off my chest to get it off my chest and be able to say hey I feel like I got screwed in my fantasy football team <laughs> and that's what really messed everything up okay we like the bonfire this is gonna be basically the last part of the well no not the last part of the second to last part of the DLC. Let's level up a bit. Let's go back. We'll see the grave of Artorius actually or she's kneeling. Do we have to leave the area? Oh I think we do have to leave the area for uh, this to happen. Um, can we enter this way? No, we need the key, right? We need the key to go up there. This is like one of the coolest characters in the DLC up there. You can hear him. It's a blacksmith. It's locked. Yeah, we need to get the key. No worries, because you do need to talk to him. He's a part and part of the lore. But, uh... Do that. Soon, I really want to encounter this NPC right here, though, so I don't understand why she didn't... Maybe I just need to warp in and out. That's what I'll do. That is what I'll do. There'll basically be another... Uh, Guardian of... Uh, or, uh, Knight of Gwyn. Victorious's compatriot, Syrian. Let's go to Fireland Shrine. Let's buy the second ring. Let's try to buy out our magician bro. Um, it sucks though, he's gonna go to Sense Fortress, and that's where we'll have to defeat him. I hate going back there, but it's okay. Um, let's see. Then let us prop. Get the ring, that's more important. And then uh, we gotta buy these two. God, 40,000. That'll do it. That should help. May we meet? Now, let's go back. Ulusil Township is where we were. So now we're in the city of Ulusil.
There she is. And there's Artorius' grave. Let's read the soul of Artorius. Soul of Lord Gwyn's knight Artorius, who was consumed by the abyss. You can see the abysses surrounding his soul. The legend of Artorius repelled the abyss only to ha told half the story. It seems that he was defeated and his honor preserved by uh, some unsung hero who is the true victor of the abyss. That's us. We are technically... The, the legend of Artorius of the abyss is us, and it says it right here after we defeat him. Before we've even beaten Manus. Because basically that's the end game of the legend. So we are the ones that have defeated the Abyss and Manus and the Furtive Pygmy. We are the one, the, 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 the unsung hero, which is us, not Artorius. Artorius' legend was a lie. It was not Knight Artorius who defeated the Abyss and walked the Abyss. It was us, our character that we built. You, is that not the soul of the man who fell on this spot? He was a dear friend. I wish to pay proper respect with that soul. Would you be willing to part with it? Yes, of course. No. I must not be presumptuous. Artorius would not have approved. What is it? Have you changed? Then you have no business. <laughs> you humans, always taking what you please. She's got such now a cool weapon. Do the same. Tracer, Dark Silver Tracer, and the Lord's Blade World. These are such cool weapons. Fun Dex weapons, I actually might upgrade them. Curved sword used by Lord Blade Sirian, one of Lord Gwyn's four knights. Sirian brandishes her sword in the mesmerizing dance etched in the darkness and dire streaks of gold. The other one was a curved sword. Maybe not. Just make sure. There it is. Dark Silver Tracer. It's a dagger. A dark silver dagger used by the Lord uh, Blades, the Lord's Blade Syrian of the Gwyn's Four Knights. So she was one of Gwyn's Four Knights, along with Havel. And uh, we're going to meet the fourth one. And he is awesome. He's actually in this DLC. He's a blacksmith goth. Um, the victim is first distracted by dazzling streaks of gold tracer, then stung by vicious poison of the dagger. Uh, really cool weapon. S scaling and, uh, dex. Really cool. I wonder if we can wear her. Her robes. Be cool. A robe common to all the Lord's blades, these deadly women swift nimbly between the layers of darkness, etching streaks of gold in the night air and painting visions of terror in the minds of their targets. Oh, I cannot. It looks so cool, though. Ugh. Looks so cool. So that is Syrian, so she is one of Gwyn's four knights. Uh, before we actually head on to Ulusil Township, I'm actually probably going to end the episode. It's going to be a little shorter today. I want this to be its episode on its own. We are going to have to uh, kindle this bonfire and... Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Um... Firelink Shrine.
I believe I... Gosh, I did... Uh, yeah, I did level up the Chaos Sub. I, you know, I always forget if I did uh, level up the Chaos Covenant. I'm sure I did. Yeah, because you get great Chaos Fireball. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm gonna probably end the episode soon. Let's use some Soulsies. It's not 40,000, but it is gonna get rid of one of these spells. Then let us prompt. One more, and then you're right. gone. The patch, may we... Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and on the next one we'll go through Rule Seal Township. Praise the sun.